Thank you. Likewise. So oh my gosh. So cute. How are you doing? I'm really good. Oh, Thank you for. Have you, all, have you ever met? I I don't want to do the thing of where you go like oh like we've met before. I don't expect you to remember me, but we have met before. <laughs> Where did we meet? I never do that to people where they're like, we actually met. Like, I always yeah. like assume people don't remember me. me I had too. a radio show and you came into it one time and you gave me advice and you were awesome. And I told you my favorite piece of Dr. Phil advice that I learned early on and my mom like really drilled into me and it always replays in my head is, how's that working for you? How's that working and for you? And how's that working for you? It's such a great thing to ask yourself. It is, isn't it? It yeah. is. Will you ask it I'm for amazing. me right now? Yeah, how's that working for you? Oh, God, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so wait. Do you I just need, screenshotted that memory. Do you need any advice right now on anything? Actually, yes, something just came up. Okay. okay. So, Dr. Phil, I struggle with, like, regret of, like, there will be things I say, stupid things. I'm like, why did I do that? And oh. I'll, it'll ruminate on it. Like, for instance, like, I just told Dr. Phil I loved him when I hugged him. And I don't know why I said that. <laughs> and I want to know, what should I do later on when I can't sleep? Because I'm like, why would I say I love him to him? Like, I do, but, like... He didn't say back, and that's weird. You love what he does for people. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just know I'm going to be haunted by it later. It, I, uh, what do I do? Say it back. Well, two things. If I had heard it, I would have been flattered. <laughs> but I, I didn't hear it, but I'm glad that you said it. I think I whispered it, which is even creepier. Like, yeah. I, <laughs> I think I tried to have an intimate moment with you. What am I but, doing? But, I love the show. I do, too. <laughs> But here's my advice, seriously. <laughs> okay. You wouldn't worry so much about what people thought of if you knew how seldom they did. Oh, oh that's good. That's good. Oh, I mean, really, we go home and obsess about, oh, my God, what's they thinking about me? And the fact is, they're home sleeping. Oh, they're home gosh. eating a chili dog. They don't even remember what happened that day. And we think they do. It and was so, Everybody yeah. does it. I, everybody does it. I, I do that. I love that. That's really yeah. a nice reminder. It hurts a little bit, though. It's yeah. kind of like when people go, like, it's none of your business what people think about yeah. you. And you're like, no, yeah. I'm worried about no one cares now, about me. Now no, no one, one likes me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. So did I say the name of your show yes. correctly? There's a question mark. Welcome home, Nikki Glazer. Glazer? That's how I've been saying it. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's about me uh, moving from, I was living in L.A. and New York, you know, pretty much since I graduated college and, and living this showbiz life. And then when the pandemic hit, I moved back home to St. Louis to be with my parents. I remember I, you telling me that. I was yeah. just like, I I don't have anyone else and I'm kind of scared right now and then I stayed and that's when I came up with this idea to do a reality show because I was like I'm living with my parents they're hilarious we should document this and when by the time he bought the show I had already moved out but I'm still living in St. Louis so it's really me being like should I stay here is this okay can I still have a career here and yeah. and just being back in St. Louis and it's yeah it's, people always have that thing if you're living with a parent or something they're like oh either something's wrong with your parent and you're helping take care of them or you're on financially like hard times yes yeah. Or you just don't have a husband and all of your friends who could live with you do. <laughs> and you are just scared. Or and you option don't, three. Or you don't, you, like, I was just so scared because stand-up went away and I do stand-up every single night. And I thought I did it because I, like, love it. But really it was because I was, never wanted to be alone with my own thoughts. And, like, and you feed and, off of that and, energy. And feel. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. was just running from my feelings. You get it. And so I was, like, <laughs> you know, well, about, you've seen my case before. And man, did things get dark, Dr. Phil. When stand-up went away, I was like, I have to feel things. Like, I can't just <sighs> shove, like, work to me I, I can just obsess over. So, and it was at a time during the pandemic, I realized, I figured things out. I got, like, help for, like, my anxieties and yeah. my low self-esteem. And I got to a place where I was like, I think I, like, accept myself. Well, and I think it's interesting, too, because um, someone once said this to me, too. It's like, I wish that you could see you how I see you. Yes. Like, because I think that we're so hard on ourselves, and yeah. it's and we're so self-deprecating. It's kind of the society's way of our humor, everything like that. And so it's, it's nice if you were... I, it's almost like we wish we could see ourselves through our friends' eyes. Yes. You know? So. And I was able to do that when I... My show is currently on E. It's, it's called, uh, you know, uh, Welcome, that Welcome Home, Nikki Glazer? Question, Question mark? mark. And when I <laughs> saw it, I, I don't like to watch myself, but when I watched it, you saw Oh, it. I don't either. Um, when I watched it... <laughs> I'm, I'm fast, right? I'm saying a lot. I feel like I've seen the whole season. <laughs> <laughs> And, I'm a lot too. You're, and, uh, you're in a good uh, crowd. I know. And, and I absolutely and I absolutely love it. I can't not watch now. Okay, good. <laughs> seriously, the best tease oh, ever. Yeah. No, seriously, isn't that great? Yeah, I love it. You know it. why? Because it's so authentic. Mm. Thank you. I really like. I've always. She done... doesn't lie about anything. I don't lie. That's what I mean. I'm telling you. I, it was just an opportunity for me to just really get honest and and hopefully have 
some little, I'm honestly making TV for myself as a little girl to be like, it's, yeah. this isn't what you think I think it is. you you like communicating with people too. You like feedback, you like to be involved. You like, a, I, I like, I like that too, that connection.